All right, so I'm going to be going over how to set stop losses on Binance US. Now, stop losses are extremely important in cryptocurrency trading, and they allow you to do two different things. The first being they can help you maximize gains, but then on the flip side, they'll help you minimize losses if a crypto asset goes down in price after you buy it. And to be honest with you guys, I don't even know where I would be if I didn't use this feature. I'd probably be down a ton of money. So, you know, just keep it in mind, you need to try using a stop loss out. Now you're gonna get to see my portfolio, which is mainly holding engine coin, but I also own some Ethereum, some Graph GRT, and then some, you know, little tidbits of some other coins. Now the example I'm gonna go over here is with Ethereum. So I'm gonna pull this up, uh, you know, on the chart, but you can see in the top right hand corner, we're on the desktop version of Binance US. But if you're using your phone, it's very easy to do. It's basically the same thing. Now, the example here we're gonna go over is buying Ethereum at its current price point of around like 3,120-ish dollars. It looks like it's at something like that right now. And, uh, you know, let's say that we bought it and uh, we, we set a, a stop loss price on it after we bought it at $2,900. Now, the reason we wanna put $2,900 in as our stop loss is because that's equal to about 7%. Um, you know, and we don't want to lose more money than that. And the cool thing about setting the stop loss at this price is that if Ethereum doesn't keep going up, then it's automatically going to sell it for you. And then you'll take the loss, but you don't have to worry about logging into your account like every 30 minutes or every hour to see where Ethereum's at. Now, on the flip side, the cool thing about stop losses is that say, let's say that uh, a week from now, Ethereum went up to 3,600 bucks and we bought it at around 3,100. So what we could do is change our stop loss to 3,500, and that way, you know, if Ethereum went up to 3,600, it drops down to 3,500, we would then automatically have that stop loss triggered, we could lock in our gains, and then we could repeat this whole process over. So you can kind of see where I'm getting at with this, right? So stop losses, like I said, they allow you to do two different things. The first being, it'll help you minimize your loss if a crypto asset just goes down in price after you buy it, which always sucks, right? But on the flip side, let's say that your crypto asset goes up maybe like 15 or 20% after a week, which happens quite a bit in cryptocurrency. You could then have the stop loss price raised and now you're sitting in the profit and then it could automatically trigger that sell whenever the price gets to that point. And plus you could always cancel your stop loss, keep raising the price if, you know, the example here, if Ethereum just kept going up and it just helps you lock in your gains, right? It's just... It's part of the trading game and it's something that you need to get comfortable with doing if you plan on trading a lot and it's smart, okay? I, I mean, I can't tell you how many times that if I didn't use a stop loss, I'd be screwed. Now, another thing you wanna start to understand about you know getting into trading and stop losses, you wanna look at resistance lines on certain cryptocurrencies. You know, For example, you can see right now where Ethereum's at and uh, it's very likely the next resistance is probably gonna be around like $3,300, $3,400. And if it doesn't go there, it could just drop, right? So that's basically it, guys. Um, takes a little bit of practice to get used to using stop losses, but for the most part, if you plan on doing a lot of cryptocurrency trading, I mean, it's something that you need to get comfortable with and it's really not that complicated. Anyways, I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions about using this feature on Binance US, feel free to message me below in the comments. Tap that like button if you didn't subscribe to the channel for more crypto content and we'll see you in the next one.